we are back. How you guys doing? Um, sad Wait, and disappointed. Oh, gold! But, uh, Cracked. <laughs> no, I won't be a Debbie Downer for the rest of the recording session, guys. I'm sorry. Um, You're so sad still about your uh, your Nether experience. Yeah, well, I was like, man, we're gonna win this, but no. He's just disappointed in himself, guys. It's fine. No, not myself. Whoa. I mean, it's really your your that caving abilities, but. Hey, what's the Nether? It's not even. It's not even what? Well, it's kind of a cave. You should get more <laughs> goes, what? It's kind of a cave. No, wait, no, no it's kind of a cave, so. Well, it's got a roof, doesn't it? The nether? Yep. Yeah. Is, is the nether a cave? Is that is that the qualification of a cave? Is that it has a roof? Well, how would I you live in a cave, guys. <laughs> well, a four bedroom oh, cave. Because I live in a cave, what? It's all rocky as well. It's like nether wreck. I rock. found lots of gold. Congrats. Is that good? Is that good? Did I win? <laughs> Can I collect my trophy now? I think I you're, you're being very evasive about my nether cave inquiry, Ari. What? Do you think it's a cave? The nether? No. Yeah. That's I silly talk. That's like freedom fries talk. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a cave. It's a French cave. It's a freedom cave, Arcus. Freedom <laughs> cave. That works. If it's good, you'd name it freedom. I hear there's a skeleton right above my head, and I know he wants to just drop right on my face. Every time I've played on here, I've gotten beat up. Really? Yeah, really badly. Like people is this really the version where you need lapis to enchant things? It is. Okay, I just found lapis, too. Yay. I'm going to cook my gold. No, um, I know. Um, <laughs> what? Well, that you cook your gold. What are you saying? What? I don't know. <laughs> I'm confused. Arcus is mumbling over there. Arcus, what hey. are you? Are you going crazy? Yes. <laughs> I'm just. I'm. I don't see people. I go crazy. What if he doesn't see anyone? Like, there's 80 people surrounding <laughs> him. Just like, how long can we follow him before he notices? <sighs> Surrounded. I forget how to make a book, because I am a smart person. It's a freeform thing, so it's one piece of leather and then three pieces oh. of page. Well, I have a book now. Rock on. I always forget how to do a chanting table. Myself. Mining, like just waiting for your stuff to cook is the most boring part of UHC. Yeah. Or like just standing here. Grinding gravel. That's number two, I think. What do you grind gravel for? Uh, Flint. To make uh, uh, arrows. Oh, right, because that's a strategy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand why you guys are laughing. But okay. Having bow and arrow like some kind of fancy man. Every time, every time, like the two times I've had bows and arrows, everyone's been like, "Let's just rush them," and then I die. So, like for me, it's like I'm not gonna do that. You don't even care. You just don't even want to bow and arrow anymore. You've had nothing but bad experiences. I just, every UHD is a bad experience. Like, I'm just, just, just so terrible. <laughs> one of these days I'll be victorious. I thought that one where it was me, you, and I don't remember who the third person was now. Where we looked down the, the ravine and saw the people and we didn't go attack them. I thought that was a good good UHC. That you know, was we... actually good UHC and they ended up winning. Oh, did that they? Was, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember now. It was um MC... And pause, and was that you, Arcus, and their team? No. I don't think so. It, I think it was MC and pause. Oh, I, I, think, I think we had a guest that time, too. So I think he was on that team as well. Wasn't there a guest? Like some guy, uh, Gannon, old Gannon. Maybe? Maybe not? I don't remember. I don't remember. Maybe the guest was when we did the charity one. Cause, but I wasn't with you on the charity one. No, yeah. Then we did another one. Didn't we do another one where it was me... And Sevidus. Oh, that was Team New Kids. That was me and Sevidus and Chad and Co. Yeah, sounds right. Yeah. Yeah. That was... Yeah. I was on my own. Why are we so old? None of us can remember. It's really confusing when you do like 20. I've only done three. Oh. Maybe four. How many have I done? Like, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> There's no reason for me to continue to get iron. I can make buckets, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I found a stronghold this time, guys. We're going to the end. Yay. Why <laughs> would you do that? 
Make an ender ender, get the XP. Oh god, take some fall damage, damn it. He's just kidding. About the ender ender, obviously. He's gonna try all different dimensions, see how much good they are. Can you try try the twilight dimension? Yes. No. Okay. I mean, what is it, yes or no? Because you're really... <laughs> Like, your mind. Uh, uh, open f uh, no, I don't think so. Is there? Is there a twilight? I don't know anymore. Is there? You know that good. You're like Minecraft expert. What? No. Is no. there? A, is there a twilight zone? Yeah, yeah. A re what are we just talking about? It's a real thing. Is there a twilight sparkle though? Oh, I have no idea about that. That's a pony. Just so you know. Twilight sparkle is My Little Pony. Oh, oh, I see. I've never no. watched that show. Do you watch? Is that the new one? Are they all the same? Do they they're have the same all the characters? same, but they're like redrawn. Oh. Yeah. Twilight Sparkle is a baller, so that's pretty much all you need to know. <laughs> in case you were wondering. Twilight Just in case you were wondering who the baller was, someone in the comments is going to be like, no, it's Shutterfly. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Did you mess with my ponies? They came out with these dolls, and we have all of them. Not just, and by we, I mean both me and Boo, but mostly for me. Where they made the ponies look like people, and they're awesome. Do you still, you, is, see, I, I don't, I don't, I, I feel like it's, like, made for people a little bit older than your daughter, but does she watch it? Yeah, she watches it, but okay. she, like, she watches a lot of, like, shows that would probably be considered for, like, older kids, mm. but... I mean, she likes All my it. kids. All my kids love it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's a it's a great it's like girly in the fact that there's like rainbows and stuff, but My Little Pony actually has a lot of like decent boy characters. So, it's just like any cartoon, really. Yeah. Yeah. Only it's well done. Yeah, it's well done. Wes. I don't wow. know why it's got that negative stigma of, you know, cuz guys uh, like older guys and girls like it. I don't understand why people care. Um, I think because the older My Little Ponies used to be like very much geared towards girls. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know mm -hmm. if that's why. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know, man. It's just a show for me. Nobody gives me crap about liking Ninja Turtles, so. Right. Although, I will say when Boo was little, it was really hard to find like anything for girls that was considered like a boy type show like ninja turtles they didn't have girl stuff even like toy story the only thing that you could get that was girls was jesse if yeah. you wanted like buzz or woody like it was almost impossible to get yeah yeah it was pretty difficult to find uh i think i'm gonna die here this is where my body goes away oh no why nope ow don't die don't die. You could do this. No, I'm cool. I'm chilling, brah. <laughs> I was never in any danger, really. I mean, I lost a, a heart, but... Oh, yeah. You were like, I'm dead, and Narcus is hurt more than you are. Ah, ah, ah. And Mostly he's screaming. I, <laughs> I was just channeling the drama llama. You know? <laughs> <Ain't> <laughs> drama no, llama. Ain't no thing. <laughs> Don't worry. We chilling out max and relaxing all cool. Oh, stop school. move to slang. I can't. And a couple of guys. I'm. This is where I die, actually, though. I'm shifting and building a bridge over a very big gap of space. And I feel... And I feel like I just got home. No. No one's a sheriff. <laughs> <fan. laughs> What's going on? Argus, do you not know who Cher is over in Europe? Ooh, Shara? No, oh, I don't even think she sings that song. That's a Madonna song, actually. Oh, you mean Shara? And yeah. I feel... Anyway, okay, no. <laughs> the, the P you ain't see the music. Oh my I'm really god! I'm really right now. What is going on? Just, just smile and nod. That's okay. That's fine. Oh, someone else just died. Wasn't me. Well then. Snow Toots is still in it. Toot toot. <laughs> I like uh, Queen Bee. For that matter. Who? Queen Bee. Just because of the name, or? Yeah. <laughs> Are diamonds still at the same lie. level in this yeah. game? Mm -hmm. So where, what am I at? Oh, I'm at 29. Bro, I gotta go down and yell timber. I'm at the <laughs> wrong, 
I'm at the wrong place. Did you know Pitbull has his own serious satellite radio station where all he plays Pitbull music? <laughs> No way! I mean, I, said I like this. Pitbull, Wes. I don't know why you have to laugh because I'm intrigued. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know what to do with it. Like, <sighs> do you know? Once I stole a pit, a life size Pitbull cardboard cutout from the Budweiser factory. What? <laughs> so my friend, my friend was having her bachelorette party. And uh, one of the girls that was there is like a huge Pitbull fan. And they had like this life size cardboard cutout of him, like in a white tuxedo. And she was just about to have her pants fly off over this cardboard cutout. And I was like, guys, let's just walk out with it. And they were like, we can't do that. I'm like, no, let's just, let's just get it though. <laughs> let's just drop them. <laughs> so we were like going to pick it up and just like walk out with it. And uh, the marketing lady was like at the front desk. And I was like, all right, let's like legitimize this whole thing, okay? So I walked up to her and I was like, hi, I have a Twitter profile and I would like to take pictures of Pitbull. And she just looked at me and she was like, cool, can you tag us in some photos? And I was like, all right. So that's, they gave me a life-size cardboard cutout of Pitbull. And then since we were carrying around Pitbull to every location that we went after that, the next bar we went to had a life-size cardboard cutout of the most interesting man in the world. Like the Dos Equis thing. Yeah. And I was like, who needs men when we can have these guys? So they let me have him too. Oh my God. You just went around town collecting all the men in cardboard version. Yes. It's amazing. That's what I do for fun. <laughs> Everyone's like, my bachelor party at Tully Waste. I'm like, yeah, it's whatever. I got two cardboard men, so it's cool. <laughs> it's fine. Whatever. Have your fun. I'll have mine. <laughs> I didn't know about glory holes back then, dude. <laughs> I could provide interesting conversation. <laughs> I've got no fun stories from back in those days. <sighs> I'm sure I scared a lot of people just now when I was like, I didn't know about glory holes back then. They're like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, like, but if you had, how would that have changed anything? <laughs> <laughs> I would have had interesting stories to tell. Uh, God. Hmm. <laughs> I'm having zero luck when it comes to diamonds, so. I probably would have luck if I could get back in the cave. I'm up here looking for apples. I'm just stuck in this cave. Like, I'm just stuck here, and I got nowhere to go. I'm still in a stronghold. No hope. Snow Toot is sad. Is he dying? No. Red Mare's only got half a heart. Oh, look, it's romance. If you were here, I'd give you one of my apples. Someone put in the chat, no teaming, you cheaters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Red's got three hearts. What's happening? I fell off a waterfall trying to type that they were cheaters. That's <laughs> <laughs> even better. I have enough gold to make a golden apple, too, but I can't get out of this cave. <laughs> oh, it's too good. I got nobody to love me. Oh, Red Mare was shot by a skeleton. <laughs> I just that? need an apple. I hear you, zombies. You can politely GTFO. Because <laughs> I'm about to have none of that going politely. on in my life. Very nice. I'm scared. I think we all should be scared, to be honest. Why? Of you? You're gonna you're gonna climb up here and like kill us all. Me? Mm -hmm. Why? I don't got nothing. I don't know. <laughs> I'm like the least scary individual. You don't have to be scared of me. I'm not doing anything other than probably dying here soon. Mm -hmm. I'm so That's hungry. just my strategy. Oh! What happened? I made a crafting table and immediately threw it overboard. <laughs> oh, look at this thing. Goodbye. <laughs> look at it. Oh. All right. At least it wasn't on my wood, though. That would have been bad news. Can you eat raw mutton? You can eat it. Can you or should you? I mean, those are probably very different answers. In real life or in game? In game. What? Yes, I'm can. sorry. What is the difference? <laughs> well, <clears throat> quite a bit. Oh. I don't like this thing called outside. It's bright and it smells weird. <laughs> Can you imagine if you were in a video game and then you got, like, 
transferred into real world, what, like, the sense of smell would be like. Yeah. Yeah. Everything so would be crazy, right? in video games. I mean, do they actually feel? <laughs> that sounded so weird, those words. Do you have feelings? Do you even well, feel? One day they might have smells in games. Smell o vision. It's going to be horrible because everybody plays these dungeon crawlers and it's going to smell like crap. Dusty. Dusty It'll crap. Smell, <laughs> and this is where the word dank is used appropriately. It will smell Moist. dank. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can't smell moist. That's a feeling. That's How not, can you not smell moist? Because it's a feeling. Can you smell wet? Moist is not a feeling. Well, I'm in love when I'm in moist right now. What? You can, you can <laughs> not... <laughs> Sense, weirdo. Like, you feel it with your fingertips, not like an emotional feeling. <laughs> well, what feeling are you talking I'm in about? I'm right now. You with your life. It's not like an emotional feeling. It's like yeah, but the, like silky. Silky is not. But I the moist don't... can smell. No, the moist is not a smell. No. If you feel moist, that moist can smell because it's smelly moist. <laughs> what kind what of are moist you... are you getting? What are you talking I don't about? I understand where you're coming from. Is well, this one of these weird European things? I feel like it is. It's gotta be right. Well, you um... do feel. Yeah, but like if you so if you get moist, say from sweating, right? You get moist from sweating? No, I don't sweat. Yeah, oh. I mean, yes, you you can't get moist from sweating. Wait a well, yeah, then you can smell that sweat, sweat, no, right? But that's the smell of sweat, right? Not the smell no, of moist. Yeah, but that sweat is that moist. You, no, it's not. No, it's not. Yeah, okay, I, I think I get your point. You don't smell flour. You smell the sweetness of a flower, but you don't smell a flower. Uh, that's true. Okay. Okay, you convinced me. Let's say this was because I'm foreign and not because I'm stupid. No, I don't think you're stupid. I think you're very smart. Thank you. You're welcome. You're oh! <laughs> no, you don't have to fly. It's cool. Um, I found trees. <laughs> I just need apples. I've got three... Someone want to give me an apple, please? How many do you have good Birch trees apples? don't give you apples, right? Or like they do. Oak and apples. What kind of trees? Birch trees do give you apples, right? No, they don't. Oh. Only oak. That's some BS. I only have one apple, Orcus. I do have I 16 gold, though. Disagree with Ooh. those methodologies. Do the swamp trees give you Yeah, apples? they do. They get really moist, too. <laughs> Is there a swampy? <laughs> you can't smell them. Oh, what?! Oh snap! Oh, Marcus is gone. Marcus. No. Oh, I what happened? You, it's a sad day for you. I felt too moist, <laughs> and I died. You smelled too moist and died. <laughs> I had like three golden apples on me as well. Golden already? Yeah. I didn't eat them like an idiot. I was too busy trying to figure out why moist doesn't smell. <laughs> oh. Oh, I would say I'm sad, but that's kind of funny. It's all right. I, I already felt disappointed. It, it couldn't get any worse. Oh, a bunny! <gasps> um. <laughs> I forgot we had this one. Looks like a calico cat. I You're think like befriending all the bunnies now. No, I killed it. Oh, wow. I guess you can't eat his flesh. GTFO bunny! I don't need any of your. He was looking at me menacingly. Like, he was going to turn on me any second. You're going to at least eat him, though, right? I mean, that's... He didn't give me any. He just gave me rabbit hide. Oh. It's like circle of life. You got to eat the stuff you kill. That's how I was taught as a kid. I've never actually killed anything. I pulled the head off a deer once, but I didn't kill it. What? Well, you have to. With you... your bare hands? <laughs> yeah, that's how I'm imagining. I'm just well, imagining her. Actually, across. I did take its head off with my bare hands. Actually. Actually, across the deer, and the natural thing to do is to pull off his head. Oh, no, my uh, friend's dad had like gone hunting, and he only hunts to eat. Like he doesn't hunt for sport, and so they had to take the deer, and he had field dressed it, and they had to like get it ready to get processed. And so to save money, he was just gonna bring in like the like deer, just like dehided and everything else, so they would just like cut it up and butcher it for him. And right. so you have to like pop, you have to take the head off and, ooh, an apple. 
you have to take the head off and you have to um um then you have to take the hide off and so he strung it up on the you know once he had field dressed it in their garage and he was like ayo you want to help me with this and i was like i've never done it but cool web and so you basically just twist the head around and around until the thing breaks, and then you pull the hide off, and it pulls the head with it. That's, that's horrifying. This is confusing. How did it feel doing it? I mean, I didn't see the thing die, so, like, it didn't really feel like anything because it wasn't bleeding. It wasn't like – like, if it had been bleeding and stuff, I probably would have been a lot more freaked out about it. But, like, at that point, it didn't seem like an animal anymore because mm -hmm. it was just, like – like, when you get a steak at the grocery store, do you feel bad about it? No. Right. So, so it wasn't bleeding. It wasn't wet. No, it, it was, was already it wasn't, done bleeding. It was already it, done bleeding. It wasn't so, as one would say, moist. It was, no, it was not <laughs> I was moist. waiting for it. I was waiting for the moist. <laughs> not and, moist. Uh, and with that incredible joke, that's the end of today's episode. <laughs> oh, yeah, points to me. Yep, we'll see you guys. Bye. Bye.